everyone, it's Miss V up in the treehouse. It's almost Thanksgiving time, so we are getting ready and celebrating a holiday strictly for giving thanks. Most of the time, this means sharing a meal, a very special meal with our friends and our family. So we are going to have a very small Thanksgiving this year, and we're okay with that because we can still see our family and friends on our networks and technology and just like you're watching preschool with me right now. So I wanted to introduce to you the star attraction of Thanksgiving it is usually this guy, Mr. Turkey. He's all dressed for dinner. That's why he has a hat on his head. Turkeys are really interesting animals. They are birds that don't really fly. They have t t real turkeys have tiny little wings. They just can't, they can get off the ground, but they can't go very far. And they have this little thing called a waddle down here that makes a turkey sound. And the turkey makes a sound like <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. So we're going to, we're going to sing some gobble, gobble songs, g g gobble, gobble. And we're going to sing one that has, a, that we're going to use our hands to make a gobble sound with. So we'll put Mr. Per Mr. Turkey up here. I heard Mr. Turkey say, gobble, 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 soon will be Thanksgiving Day, gobble, gobble, gobble. People say that it's great fun, but I think that I shall run and hide until the day is done, gobble, gobble, gobble. I think that's probably what the turkeys would say. So let's do this one. Great big turkey. Great big turkey, watch him waddle, see him, hear him gobble, running all around, making such a sound. Great big turkey, great big turkey. Let's say that one again. Great big turkey, great big turkey, hear him gobble, watch him waddle. Running all around, making such a sound. Great big turkey, great big turkey. Yay! Now the sound that Mr. Turkey makes, it's such a loud shriek, is gobble, 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 and there he is. There's Mr. Turkey saying gobble gobble to remind us that G makes the sound of G. G. Grasshopper. Green. There's some more grasshoppers. Girl. Blue. Grass. There's another grasshopper. Go. And grapes. And I'm sure you can probably think of some more G. 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 Sounds. G. 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 I think of my friend Gordo Gorilla. 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 Do you know that I want to teach you something really interesting? Your moms and dads might not know it. Have you ever tried to eat a banana and tried to peel it from the top and it gets all mushy and squishy? Do you know how gorillas open their bananas? They open their bananas upside down from where we do and open them from the bottom and you won't get the squishy part. So to remember that gorillas do this, we're going to go G and peel a banana. G. G, 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 gobble, gobble, g, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. So now that we've kind of talked about the sound of the letter G, I wanted to show you what it'll look like when we put it on our pocket chart. I hope you can see the pocket chart. When we build our word gobble, it'll look like this with our letters. If we build our word gobble with our lowercase letters, remember our chicka chicka boom boom letters? And then the mamas and papas and uncles and aunts letters? And then if you read it in a book, it might look like that. G gobble, gobble. There's another word in there though. Go. G gobble. Remember when we did bats and bones and boo? There's two Bs. Gobble. Gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> so I wrote 
some words on some posters and I thought we could go for a letter G hunt. Should we go on a letter G hunt? Mr. Turkey, you're gonna move a little bit. You can come over here and watch. Mr. Turkey's gonna join us. And I think I'm gonna circle all our letter G's that we find in brown so that you can see them. I'm gonna read this to you and you might remember the word, remember these words. Great big turkey, great big turkey, hear him gobble, watch him wobble, running all around, making such a sound. Great big turkey, great big turkey, and I think I'm going to get our gobble words off of our chart so that you can remember what the big letter G and the little letter G look like. So here's our big letter G. And I think I'm going to put our little letter G right on this chart so that we can see it. Remember, we're just going to be looking for our letter G. <laughs> G is for gravity. <laughs> okay. Great. Do you see a G there? Do you see a G? I see a letter G right here. Great. Big. Do I see a big G that looks like that? Oh, I see another one underneath that one. So we'll circle that one. But look at there's the word big. Big. I hear a g, g sound at the very last sound I make. B I. Oh, there's another G. Great big turkey. Great big. Oh, another G. Big turkey, hear him gobble. Well, we know that word starts with G. There's a G right there at the beginning. I'm going to circle the whole word because word, that's gobble. Hear him gobble, watch him wobble, running. Oh, did you see that? Running. Oh, looks like that loop with that fish hook hanging down. Running all around, making, oh, do you see it? Do you see that G? Very end, hanging down from that line, making such a sound. Great, hey, we're back to great. Great, big, oh, turkey, great, big. Turkey. Nice job. Thank you so much for helping me find those letters. What? There's some other letters that you know that we looked at before? Well, what other letters have we looked at before? That's right. A for apple. Apple. A, A, apple. Do you see any letter A's? Oh, I see one all by itself. There's an A right there. Oh, and there's another A right above it. Do you see any other A's? One right there. Any other letters that we've done? A, B, B, bear. Oh, B. Boo! B. Bats. Are there any bees there? Hmm. Well, we know that there's two bees right in the middle of gobble. I'm just going to underline those bees under gobble. Oh, wait. There's two bees right next to each other in this word, and it doesn't start with a G, but it's a, got the owl in it. There's two bees. BB. That's wobble. Any other bees? So we start at the top. Great. But. A. Great big. There's 
a B, great big turkey, great b big turkey. Hear him gobble, watch him wobble, running all around, making such a sound. Great b big turkey, great b big turkey. Are there any other letters? T, tree. Remember we did trees? T, t, tree. T. Hmm. Well, this word's in here a lot. Turkey. T, t, turkey. Circle a T for turkey. Great big turkey. Great. Ah! There's a T at the end of great. So great starts with a g and ends with a t. And big starts with a b and ends with a g. And turkey starts with a t. Great big turkey, great big turkey. Hear him gobble, watch him wobble. Running all around, making such a sound. Great big turkey. Great big turkey. Hmm, that's a lot of sounds that we've already learned this year, isn't it? That's a lot of letters. Should we count which letters? How many we found of which letters? So I'll move our gobble so we have room to count. So the first letter we found was. Big letter G. Should we count how many big letter G's we found? One, two, three, four. We found four big letter G's. How about little letter G? Looks like a ball with a fish hook. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little letter G's. Then we found some letter A's, didn't we? How many letter A's did we find? We probably could have looked for more. Let's see. One, two, three. Three letter A's we circled. How about a letter B for boo and fat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight looks like the snowman, so it's easy to write. <laughs> what was the last letter we looked for? T, t, tree, or turkey. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We found eight letter T's. So what did we find the most of? We found the most letter B and letter T. And almost our letters for the week. Letter G. G, G, G. I'm going to take a drink of water. And then let's play this game again, because I like hunting for letters instead of turkeys. <clears throat> so I'm going to move this one down on the ground. <clears throat> and I'm going to put... <laughs> gulp on the list. Hmm. 
This may not fit up here, so we'll just have to do our best. Now, have you ever been eating your food really, really fast and your mom says, don't gulp it down? Or your grandma says, you're gobbling down that pie so fast? Something like that. Well, there is a poet named Jack Prelutsky. I know that's a funny name to say, Prelutsky. And I love his poems. And you might be able to find some of his poems in the library. And this is a poem that he wrote about gobble gobble. And the poem is actually called Gobble Gobble. G, 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 gorilla, g. When a turkey gobble gobbles, he is plump and proud and perky. When my family gobble gobbles, they are gulping down the turkey. Uh oh. <laughs> it's about having that good, good Thanksgiving dinner. Let's go ahead and use brown to circle our letter G's again. When a turkey, there's a gobble, there's a G. Gobble, gobbles. He is plump and proud and perky. When my family gobble, gobbles, they are, oh, found a G at the beginning, gulping down the turkey. Let's find some other letters. We forgot to do our letter P, which we did P last week. And P is for pumpkin and penguin, p -p -p penguin, penguin. Kind of twitch your little hands down the side and waddle like a penguin, p -p -p penguin. So let's do the letter P on this chart. We didn't do P on our other chart. When a turkey gobble gobbles, he is p plump. Hey, there's a P at the beginning and at the end. P plump and proud and Perky. When my family gobble gobbles, they are gulp. Hey, there's a P right in the middle of that word. Gulping down the turkey. There's a P. How about M? We did M is for monsters and munchy mouse. Mmm. 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 Munchy mouth. When a turkey gobble gobbles, he is plum and proud and perky when my family gobble gobbles they are gulping down the turkey so just a couple of letter m's not very many how about the letter t again because that's a lot in there i think there's we're going to find a lot of those in here when a turkey Gobble gobbles, he is plump and proud and perky. When my family gobble gobbles, they are gulping down the turkey. I think there were more T's than I thought. And how about our last one, letter A? So we'll do A because that's a good one. A, A. And the letter A sometimes just stands on its own and just says its own name. It says A. A. When a turkey gobble gobbles, he is plump and proud and perky. When my family gobble gobbles, they are gulping down the turkey. Wow, I think we found a lot of letters that we might know. Should we count these two? Should we start with our G? I think we'll count all those together for this one. When a turkey, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six big G and little G's together. How about letter A? How many letter A's did we find? One. Two, three, four, five. 
How about the letter M? Hmm. Can I eat turkey? Gobble, gobble. He is. Oh, there's an M. Three, four, four. Only four letter M's. Now, how about P for pumpkin and penguin? <laughs> Let's see, let me turkey gobble gobbles. He is, oh, two in this word, one at the beginning and one at the end. P one, two, three, four, five, five. So there are more let P in the letter P than there are letter M, but the same amount of letter P as there are of letter A. One last letter we're gonna hunt for. Are you ready? Do you remember this word? This letter we did very early. T t tree. When a turkey, oh, there's one in turkey. One. Uh oh, I don't think there's a two, three, four. So we found four letter T's. Not very many. So we found the most we found were the letter G. We found lots of letter G, gobble gobbles in there. We're going to add gobble gobble to our pocket chart today. And we'll play a couple more other games with our pocket chart. So let's come over here and I'm gonna sit on my big blue cushion. Gobble word, didn't I? Or did I bring it over? Nope, forgot the gobble gobble. I forgot the gobble gobbles. So I am gonna go over here and get them. Mm. So I have my big letter G over here. It goes around and then comes in. So our our word for the letter G, like I said, pointer over here, is gobble gobble. So gobble. Now the problem is my letter G, my letters are too big for my chart, so I might have to kind of spread them out or squish them in a little bit, but we'll see. So what color am I looking for first? It's my letter G, and what color is it? Can you tell what color I'm looking for? That's right, purple. What's the next color I'm looking for? What color, I'm gonna actually kind of put this up here, I think. Because I don't think, I think we're gonna run out of pockets. Hope you can see it. Letter O, and what letter, what color is that letter? B, what color is that? That's right. Huh? And what color is our next letter? We need a letter, a yellow that letter that looks like that. How about that one? This one's gonna have a roommate. What color am I looking for now? Is that the right color? That's the right letter, but that's not the right color, is it? We need a pink letter, huh? How about this letter? Is that the right letter? It's the right color. Right? Oh, it's not the right letter. Hmm. How about this one? Is it the right color and the right letter? It is. That's a pink letter E. He's just gonna he's gonna hang out with letter L. They can all have roommates. Together. <laughs> Gobble. 
Now, if you want to get really tricky, let's take these out of here and try and spell gobble, but not with the big letters. How about with our little letters? Ruh roll, this is going to get super tricky again. You ready? Little G is the same, makes the same sound as big G. What letter's next? Little O. Let's put it down this side. Let's see if it goes over there. What letter's next? Do you know that letter? Orange B. And how about the next letter? A blue B. It's the same letter, just one of them is the mamas and the papas and the uncles and aunts hug their little dears and dust their pants. So we have the mama and papa letters over here, and we have the chicka chicka letters over here. Oh, and there's the letter L, and we'll let the letter E hang out down here. There you go. Gobble. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's play another game. And let's see if you remember the sounds that all of our words make. Because we've had a lot of words now this year, haven't we? This one is our new one, gobble, gobble, gobble. Do you remember what this word is what sound that it first that the first sound makes remember rainbow fish and how about this one p -p 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 pumpkin pumpkin i've been thinking you're the finest one i've seen and how about ooh? Mmm, when she mouth monster. And there's a couple more words in here. Very short words. <laughs> How about this one? I'll put it down by fish. B ooh. B ooh. Ooh. Boo. And this one. Ah, 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 ah. Apple. And one more word that we did. <laughs> that kind of goes with apple. T, 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 tree. Apple tree, monster, pumpkin, fish, boo. And now we added gobble for our letter G. You see our alphabet letters are our alphabet letters are taking over our bookshelf. So let's do this. Let's take a minute and I'm gonna draw I'm gonna take a letter out of our letter pile, our letter basket. You tell me if you remember which word goes with the letter. Let's see. What letter is that? Do you remember? B for boo. Good job. I'm glad you remember that letter. And how about this letter? Fancy fish. How about that letter? P -p -p pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, I've been thinking. Oh, here's another one of my favorite letters. T -t Tree. And let's 
see if we can find another letter in here. Huh. Oh! I found one. Mmm! Mmm! Munchy Missy Mouse. Remember that letter? That is the letter O. Oh. And I think there's one, one more. I gotta find it. Oh no, where did it go? There's two more. I say, I thought there's two more. La 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 la. Is this a letter that we've talked about yet? No, I don't think we've done that letter yet. We're gonna do that one soon. Uh oh, can't find the other letter I'm looking for. Did I already put it up there? No, I didn't. Okay. So we haven't done this letter yet. Have we done this letter? Do you remember what letter that is? Eh, eh, eh. Hey! And our last letter is our letter for today. G. G. Gobble, 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 gobble. Letter G. So we've done a lot of letters. We've done some a lot of letters from the alphabet. Let's see if we can put them in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, I forgot F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I hope you do sing with us next time. I hope you join us next time for our Treehouse Playhouse and play letters and numbers and words and songs and books and stories with us. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye for now.